Stones of the Goddess by Nicholas Pearson, Crystals for the Divine Feminine. So, you are getting uh, part one, two, three parts with a few chapters in each. So, and you are getting uh, an appendix, it's a table of correspondences. So, part one is Crystal Basics. Part two, meeting the goddess. This one is um, that has the most chapters in it. Six. Part one has like two. Uh, part three, crystals for the divine feminine, which only has one chapter, uh, which is lists, which lists the crystals. So, under each part, it tells the chapter and what page each chapter is on. So um, I wrote down a quote, I've done the best to write a, to write a book that appeals to all levels of, experience, of expertise regarding regarding to stones and crystals, oh my goodness. <laughs> if you know me, my, my writing is kind of crap, it all looks like one word, but we're not talking about that. <laughs> So part one, you're getting intro and introduction terms, choosing your stone cleansing, and uh, other topics. So the traditional <laughs> introduction topics that you would get in books like these. So it's a lot is being introduced. It's very informational and it's formal. Writing for the writing is formal. Part two, you're getting a history, pre-Christian, pre-Christianity, um, during and now, so kind of a timeline. The threefold goddess archetypes, symbols, and more. So a more in-depth kind of look into them into the crystals. In part three, you are getting like the name of the crystal. So you are getting magical uses, elemental signature, astrological signature, goddess archetypes, uh, inform formation process, not information, it's the formation process of the crystal. Um, information about it so you you can be looking at a few pages um, on the information about each crystal it is more insight like this section is more encyclopedia encyclopedia like about the crystals that are chosen for this book and you are looking at 400 pages at least that's what I had <laughs> on the last look of this book that I had. You're looking at over 400 pages. So in the appendix you are getting uh, goddess correspondence, elemental, so earth, air, fire, water, and what crystal goes with each element, planetary, um, again what crystal goes with each planet and you are getting zodiac um a zodiac correspondence chart so you are getting a few different correspondences in the appendix so it's more of a quick glance glance at some of the information that was put in the part three um information so and Again, this, not again, but like this book is more, again, for those who are more crystal focused in their practice and wanting to connect more with the divine feminine, goddess, whatever, <laughs> in your practice and or just wanting to bring um, the feminine more into it, if you are... Uh, coming from a more masculine 
relationship in your spirituality. So this could be a way, if you do connect with crystals, this could be a way to bring the feminine into it or bring it back into it. So yeah, Stones of the Goddess by Nicholas Pearson. Happy readings.